and welcome to Only Connect, a simple little quiz where all the contestants have to do is work out the connections between various clues, which is a bit like saying that all NASA has to do is point it at the moon. Our teams need a wide enough frame of reference to cover everything from the music of Bono to the teaching of De Bono, and God help them if they get those two mixed up. I know I do. But I'm unlikely to mix up our two teams tonight because their provenances are very different. On my right, it's the History Boys. They are Rob Hanna, a quiz setter with a BA in performance writing. The beautifully named Craig Element sounds like a Martin Amos character, but he is in fact a computer programmer with a degree in psychology. And their captain, Gareth Kingston, a freelance consultant from Bedfordshire. They are the History Boys. So, Gareth, what qualifies you to be the History Boys? Well, I've got a deep love of history uh, thanks to some inspirational teachers I had when I was younger and I went on to do a history degree. Um, my key interest, I suppose, of colonial history, French Revolution, modern European history. Craig loves his uh, classical world and Rob um, is a little bit of a magpie, likes a little bit of various different historical periods. And do your friends ever say, forget the past, live in the now? I choose not to associate with such people, I think. Quite right, yeah. quite right. Well, tonight you'll be associating with a difficult set of opponents, the rugby boys. They are Richard Parnell, an ex-policeman and holiday rep who now teaches English as a foreign language. There's a career trajectory. Mark Labbott, a teacher from Newport, and their captain, Gary Dermody, the steward at the recreational club where the team meets. They are the rugby boys. Gary, you're the captain, so you all love quizzes and rugby. It's an unusual combination. Well, we're still quizzing. Our rugby days are behind us, but we all support the game of rugby. And um, the club which I'm a member, which I run, is one of the largest in terms of membership rugby clubs in South Wales. So, in a sense, at school, you guys were the geeks and the jocks. <laughs> yes. Renaissance men. Thank you very much. Let's press straight on with round one. I believe the history boys won the toss, so you'll be going first. Round one, very simple. I simply want to know what is the connection between the four clues you're going to see. But if you can tell me after seeing only one clue, you'll get five points. If you see two clues, three points. Three clues, two points. And if you see all four clues, you get one point. But if you give me a wrong answer or don't answer at all, I will throw it over for a possible bonus. So, history boys, please have a look at the Greek letters and select one. Can we have Alpha, please? Alpha, you're going to have 40 seconds. Your first clue is coming up. Shout next when you want another one. The time starts now. Explosive. Next, please. Next, please. Smoke. Oh, that's got these are these protected um in, in, in can only oh please, yes in you protected um, you protected in, in certain areas yeah, yeah. you want to go for that in you protected um. we believe that these are eu protected um food products that can only produce within a certain geographical area you are absolutely correct you're going to get two points the last clue was Melton Mowbray pork pies. Very impressive. I'd also have accepted they're all things I'm going to have a breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very suggestible, but very good. So, rugby boys, your chance to pick a letter. Beta, please. Beta. First clue is coming up. Time starts now. Next, please. Oh, last line's in. That's the last line in um, last Jack Lemon and... Yeah, it is in... some like film last lines. Last lines. Famous last, last lines. Billy Wilder's famous last line in film. Should we oh, go for another one? another one? Yeah, good, well, I'll go one more. It's, it's like a famous one. Film. Well, it's running out. OK. Go on there. Are the last lines in films. Very brave coming in after two clues, and you get three points. Had you stuck around, you'd have seen Mein Führer, I Can Walk, <laughs> and It Was Beauty Killed the Beast. Which films? Uh, nobody's perfect is Casablanca. No, no, um, um, something like it. Huh? Mine fear I can so walk. Like Doctor Strange, Strange Love. love. Uh, it was Billy Killer, King, King Kong, Kong, my favourite. I understudied for it. He's my brother. I'm not sure though. Yeah. So he's my brother. Is um. Is it the early one from? Oh, it's, it's Rain Man. It's Rain, Rain Man. Man. <laughs> there you go. Close. Return of the Jedi. Oh. Oh. But you get an and excellent uh, three points for getting it off just two clues. So history boys, you're on the back foot. Surprisingly, which letter would you like? Gamma, please. Gamma, your first clue is coming up, and I can tell you that this is going to be a sound or music okay. round. You'll be hearing the clues. Shout next when you want to hear the next one. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Oh, no. 
next. 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 This is a cool oh, from Beethoven's knife. Right. Yeah, they're all um, based on Beethoven people. Five seconds. National anthems. Two seconds. They've all been associated with sporting events. I'm afraid they have not all been associated with sporting events. Rugby boys, your chance for a bonus. Are they all knife symphonies or whatever? No, no, they're all anthems, I think. Are they all used as you can't anthems? have a long consultation. They are anthems, they're all anthems. You used as sporting anthems. No, Gary, anthems. you should be listening harder to your teammates. Mark was right, they are all the ninth symphonies. Um. Ninth symphonies of Mahler, Schubert, Borjak and Beethoven. Rugby boys, please pick a letter. Epsilon, please. Epsilon. Ah, now I can tell you this is going to be a picture round. You're going to see the clues. Otherwise, works exactly the same. 40 seconds, and your time starts now. Oh, this is red rose. It looks like a <laughs> rugby shirt, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next, please. Yeah. Jaguar. 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 Rugby, it's rugby, it's rugby. rugby union. It's, it's oh, on, on, the, on the shirts. Yeah, it's, it's what appears on the shirts of the international rugby team. Do you want to go for another one? I would, yeah. Go on, one Next, more. please. The castle. Which castle? castle? Um, I'm suddenly changing my mind. Yeah. Leopard. Another one? Oh, are these hallmarks? Oh, leopard hallmarks. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, assay, yeah, assay, assay, assay marks. Ten yes. seconds. Assay. assay marks. They are the hallmarks used by the UK assay offices, the symbols respectively of Sheffield, London, Edinburgh and Birmingham. You always think the first answer is a rugby one, don't you? Is it, yeah. yes. is it a sporting anthem? Is it a rugby question? Yes. What do you think the chances are that we get a team of rugby boys and the answer to everything would we be rugby? We live in hope. hope. You live, well, maybe later in the show, you never know. So, history boys, let's come back to you to pick a letter. Delta, please. Delta, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Now, it's probably spelled two terms, so it could be dictated. Ne next, please. Um, snow, let's undo up next, please. Tilda Swinton. What's she done? Um, she won an Oscar. She played Queen. Uh, Michael Clayton. Uh, Clayton. Uh, Mal. I don't know. Chairman Mal. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Next, don't next know. please. You've got ten seconds. Lindell Mann. Um, Who's Lindell? I don't know. Um, Five seconds. Oh, they, they, they all um, were. Go. Um, is it something to do with after they all um, were something after they died? They were sort of um, it, the, the connection. Yeah, I mean the connection is, I suppose, sleep and. I'm going you know. to have to stop you there. I'm sorry. That was the best chance I could give you, but I can't accept that. So I'm going to throw it over to well, the rugby boys. I think it's embalmed. That she wants to be embalmed, and the others have been. What, Snow White? No, because Lindo Man was discovered. No, no that's Thomas too long a consultation. I'm not going to give you that yeah. either. Where you went wrong, I think, History Boys, you say they've been embalmed. Uh, Tilda Swinton is very much alive. I yes. think to embalm her at this point would, would seem cruel. <laughs> they've all been at some stage on display in glass cases. Uh. Mount St. Tung on display in Tiananmen Square. <coughs> Snow White after she ate the poison apple. Lindo Man, of course, at the British Museum. Tilda Swinton was in a glass box at the Serpentine for a piece of art called the Maybe. Really <laughs> no points, you were close, but no. So, rugby boys, there is only one letter available, so you're going to be having Zeta. Thank you. Time starts now. Next, please. Something in the words, something in the arm is in there. Next, please. These German words, poltergeist. Uh, that's, that's poltergeist. Yeah. 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 German words that can be any German. Okay. They're German words. Words are yeah. the words that can be translated into German. So as in pol pol not noisy is pol is uh, poltergeist. Meersham, poltergeist. Meersham yeah. is. Meersham is a type of material they make um, pipes out of. Well, the descriptions are German words that have been Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. The irony is, if you were German, you'd have been able to do all that in one yes. word with mm. nouns bolted together. But mm. I'm going to accept it. You've stumbled your way wordily Thank towards you. the yeah. answer, which is they are all Please literal agree. translations mm. of German words that have passed into English. See for Meerschaum, harm, joy. 
Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. That's right, you said that one, and it was Poltergeist and Blitzkrieg. That means at the end of round one, the History Boys are on two points, but the Rugby Boys are on an impressive seven points. In round two, the clues start appearing in order. I want the team to tell me not what the connection is, but what's fourth in the sequence. That means you'll never see all four clues. You'll see one, two or three, depending on how quickly you buzz in. Five, three or two points available. You have to tell me what's fourth in the sequence. History boys, you'll be going first again, so please pick a letter. Alpha, please. Alpha, the first in a sequence will be coming up. I'd like you to tell me what comes fourth. Time starts now. 120 minutes. Next. 108. Now, this is a mass question, isn't it? Or is it? Um, I don't know. Next, 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 please. 90. What's the relationship between these? We've got 20, 20 seconds. I would say something to do with um, 6, could be 18, 12, so it could be 6, it could be 84. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean. You're under 10 seconds now. I, I can't see Nine, that. Anything to do with degrees of angle? Five seconds. Go for, what do you want eight, go for 84. I don't think it will be. 84. Not the answer I'm looking for. So, mm. rugby boys, do you want to have a go? 60. Why would it be 60? It's the equal angle of the regular shape. So that's 120 is a regular hexagon, 108 is a regular pentagon, 90 is a square, and 60 is an equilateral triangle. That's it, they're the interior angles mm. of polygons. Very good, so you get the bonus point. And you also get to pick your own letter. Beta, please. Beta, first in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Laconicum. Laconicum. What's that mean? I don't know. Next one. Next. Oh, these are places in a... In a, in a so it's a frigidarian, isn't it? The it's last the last one. one. Last one's a frigidarian, is the it? plunge pool. Yeah, OK, good for that. Are we happy with that? Yeah, yeah let's go for it. Frigidarium. 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 And why would that be? Roman bathhouses. It's the, the first, screen. second, third and final room. Absolutely correct. Third in the sequence, tepidarium. And you get three points for frigidarium. I suppose now that is an advantage of sportsmen. It's popular again now, isn't it? If in you're Roman sportsman, yeah, yeah. Even in my house, you can jump in and out of boiling and freezing baths. That's just because the boiler doesn't work. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure if you go to sporting spas, you'll have seen that still in use today. So, history boys, come on. You can do it. Time to catch up. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, first in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Rest. It's going to be, it's be musical. Fish. Next. Rest, ice, uh, uh, compression, elevation. Elevation. Why would you say that? It's, uh, thinking back to my first aid training, it's rest, ice, compression, elevation on a sprained ankle or something like that? Absolutely correct. Three points to you. That's why people say treat a sprain with rice. rice. It's led to many awkward misunderstandings, but that's what we like to see. Well-deserved points. Rugby boys, what would you like? Gamma, please. Gamma. First clue coming up. What's fourth time starts now? Let me try. might be the next one. Um, that could be the sherries. Could be sherries. Mm. But... Next. Drop it. <laughs> Next. Very dry fit. Oh, the, these are weather. Changeable. Very dry fit. Is this on a barometer? 20 seconds. So storm, yeah. storm, storm. Storm. Stormy or rainy. Very, um, very dry fit. Very change. It is, yeah, it's the point of the barometer. Is it rain or stormy? Stormy. Sure, rain, rain isn't specific. So storm. 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 Yeah. Storm. Okay. Five seconds. Okay. Yeah. You better press. <laughs> stormy. Not the answer I'm looking for. History boys, do you want to go for a bonus? I don't know. Unsettled. I'm afraid that's not it either. Rugby boys, you were in the right area. Words on a barometer, but after change would come rain. Sorry, Gary. I, I like the fact that your, uh, your mind went immediately to Sherry. That's what you think of first. But no, rain was the answer I was looking for. So, history boys, which letter? Zeta, please. Zeta, first in a sequence coming up. Now, this is going to be a picture round, so I'm going to ask you what would you expect to see in the fourth picture. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Some sort of flowers. Yeah, had white and rose. rose. Next. Two cats. Rain, rain drops and whiskers on kittens. kittens. Yeah. And what is it? Oh, roses and whiskers on kittens. kittens. Something. Well, the big, big, wooden woolen mittens, is yes. it? Yes. Woolen mittens. 
warm woolen mittens. Yes, that's right. Third in the sequence of bright copper kettles from my favourite things in The Sound of Music. I'm ashamed. <laughs> Here's the thing I've always found odd. Do you know also in that song, doorbells is one of the things. Doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles. I've always thought a doorbell is the last thing you'd want to hear in Nazi Austria. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favourite things would be sort of no doorbells yeah. and sleigh bells and, you know, mysterious strangers at the door. Why would that have been good? Anyway, there is only one clue remaining. So, rugby boys, you are going to have Delta. First in the sequence coming up, what's fourth? Time starts now. Mackenzie, Canada. 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 First place was Canada, but I don't know yeah, enough to... Good. Next. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, the what? Oh, yeah. Hang on, this no, rings a bell. Have another one. Oh, the next one. They're not rivers, are they? No. no. Oh, I don't so. Next. Yeah. 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 Canal. Yeah, Mackenzie Canal. Would it be oh. Mackenzie? Would it be Lake Erie? The canal? Yeah. yeah. So no, hang on. So, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one. Ten down. seconds. Is it? Um, would it be Lake Huron? It goes in Five seconds. Lake Huron. Lake Huron. Why would that be? They're the connection of the waterways through the north of Canada. St Lawrence Seaway. You almost couldn't be further away from the correct answer. So, History Boys, do you want to have a go for a bonus? Simon um, and um, another one. You can't hazard a guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm think afraid think that's long well enough. Fourth in the no, sequence would be Wade. They are editors of The Sun. Uh, right. In uh, order there. Yes. Wade was born, not yeah. rivers at all. So, at the end of round two, the history boys have improved to an excellent eight points, but the rugby boys are still well in front with 11 points. So it's round three, the connecting wall. This time, each team will see a blaze of 16 clues. I want the teams to sort them into four connected groups of four. Some of the clues may come into more than one category, but there's only one complete correct solution. Rugby boys, you're going to be going first this time. Let me tell you what's available. One point for each group you correctly identify, a bonus point for each connection you can tell me, and two bonus points if you get them all correct. Your first decision is, would you like connecting wall alpha or beta? Alpha, please. Alpha. OK, the alpha wall is coming up. You've got two and a half minutes. They start now. A small, a young... Joey Heels, Cuban kitten heels. Platform. Joey, oh, the Friends characters, Chandler, Joey, Ross. Right, so uh, hang on. Uh, is it? And Green. Chandler, Edgel. Joey, Ross, and Green. Ross, Green. 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 Not no. a group. Hang on, look. Uh, the other, well, Ross, 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 Green, oh, oh, maybe that's a dummy. Wedge heels, Cuban heels, Cuban yeah. heels. Like Wedge heels, heels, Cuban, Cuban heels, heels, Cuban heels. Cuban heels, yeah. And um, did you say platform? Platform, yeah. Platform. That's yeah. a good. Uh, young fry, of, young fry, fry, yeah, fish, elver fry. Fry, elver. Lamb, I suppose, young's of animal. Lamb um, and a joey. A joey is joey, a kangaroo, yeah. yeah. Right, take a couple of That's also shots. a group. It's now three strikes and you're out. Careful where ah. you press. Thanks. I've got it. Thanks. What? ER doctors, let me remember. Oh, um, Doug Ross. Doug Ross. Oh, Hang on, take your time. Take your time on this. Let's get green. this right. Green take your time. One. Yeah, Benton's definitely in it. And the other one is... Fletcher Cartwright. Well, hang on. How we do these, 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 these are correct. Cartwright. Cartwright. Was it a Chandler in it? Hang on. Dr. Fletcher. Dr. I've, I'm... I think it's... Oh, hang on. Cartwright. There's a Cartwright. Cartwright's got There's no thing. No oil. What about the fourth from Link there, Goldsmith? They're all, they're all um, occupations. You have solved the grid. Excellent stuff with plenty of time remaining, over a minute. So, you're going to get four points, one for each group you identified, and there are now bonus points available if you can tell me the connections. So, the blue group, Wedge Cuban Kitten Platform. They're all types of heel. You got that one quickest. Yeah. I'm, I'm well, guessing. I'm wearing you... good platform heels now. Uh, well, I'm thinking you must dress adventurously in your in your spare time, <laughs> so you get a bonus point there. Next group, the green one, Fry Elver Joey Lamb. They're the youngs of creatures. Aren't young. they? They are young creatures. You 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 fell into the uh, friends trap, mm. I think, that we set with Joey there, but you crawled out of it. The red group, Carter Ross Green Benton. Doctors in ER or characters in ER? They are doctors in ER. And finally, Goldsmith, Chandler, Fletcher, Cartwright. They're occupations, they're um, which have crafts, names, yeah. crafts which have become names. That's it, they're, they're crafts that have become names. Fletcher, do you know what a, a Fletcher was? Made arrows. Someone who made arrows, exactly right. So, 
Four points for the groups you identified, four bonus points for the connections, and you got the bonus two points for getting it all correct. It's a maximum of ten points. So well done, rugby boys. Let's see what the history boys can do with their trip to the connecting board. They're going to get 16 new clues, of course. History boys, I'll be asking you to separate them into four groups of four. You know the points available. No choice of grid for you. You will be getting the beta wall. So you'll have two and a half minutes to solve this. Good luck. <coughs> Time starts now. Um, Bartok. Okay. Is that Bartok? Darling, missing. 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 Uh, Rubik's uh, Cube. Well, Bartok. Oh wait, that's accents, isn't it? Um, it's Bartok, um, Hungarian. Houdini, Hungarian. Uh, Byra was Hungarian. Um, who else was Hungarian? I'll try it. Rubik. Rubik was Hungarian. So is that Bartok? Dali, missing, missing, missing. Uh, Houdini. Okay. That's a group. Um, right. Bubble car. Hob hobble. Fu Manchu moustache, Hitler moustache. Yes. Um, Dali moustache. Dali moustache. Pencil moustache. Right, no, 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 don't, don't. Uh, uh, you, it could also be walrus, couldn't it? But don't do it yes, yet. Let's okay. see what if there's anything else. Um, um, I did. Bubble um, map. No. <laughs> um, what do you want to put some something in? Bulb, pen, bulb. Skin. Should we just do the other one and get rid of them? See, see well, if we no, can do it. Well, no, because that leaves us with... Well, it gives us time to think. Yeah, yeah. We'll put something. Have it. Yeah, okay, try so. Hitler. Hitler. Try Dali. Yeah. Try Pencil. Yeah. And try Fu Manchu. No. Not a group. Okay, then Walrus. Well, okay. Hitler, Fu Manchu and Dali. Yep. Right. That's a group. Now it's three strikes in your hand. <coughs> Careful okay. where you press. Uh, tulip. Hubble. Hubble, bubble. Toil and trouble. trouble. Yeah. No, that's not okay. Um, <laughs> skin. Um, oh. Tail of something, skin of something. Um, pencil, pen. headed, headed pen. Double headed, double. Tops double. Tulip. No, no. Tulip, pen. tulip, bulb. Um, tulip, um, revolution. Um, tulip, pencil, no, tail. Pen and pencil can't be in the same group. No, skin no. is too obvious, isn't it? Uh, skin. Bubble car. Um, Purple-headed mountain. Well, let's have a, I think we need to put something in. Yeah, just, just guess. Just guess um, something. Bubble, skin and tail. No. Not a group. You've got um, two more attempts. Uh, bubble, We're running out of time. Tail, headed, skin. Bubble wrap, bubble car. Bubble... Oh, pencil lead. Anything. Something with lead in there. Bubble lead. We might as well have a, have a go. So we're running out of time. Quick. Have a random jab. Um, well, I don't know. Not a group. Pencil. One more go. Just quick, we've got no time. Um, Just pick a person, I think. Quick. Not pen and pencil on the same one, though. So. That is not correct, and the grid freezes. You're going to get two points for the groups you correctly identified. There are bonus points available, so that blue group, Biro, Bartok, Rubik, Houdini. Famous Hungarians. Exactly so, famous Hungarians. That's a point. The green group, Dali, Walrus, Fu Manchu, Hitler. Uh, uh, Types of moustache. Exactly so. None of you wearing a moustache, I'm sorry to see. Nope, they, nope. they very attractive and glamorous, I think. <laughs> Not on Hitler, but, you know, in general. Now, you can still get bonus points for the groups you didn't identify, so let's resolve the wall. There it is. So, let's see if you can tell me what connects pencil, bubble, tulip, hobble. Um, well, they've all got I can't syllables. give you too long to debate. Um, hobble, um, tulip, pencil. Um, no, that's too long. I'm afraid you're not as hot on women's fashion as the rugby players. They are all types of skirt. Oh. And what about that last group? Headed, pen, tail, skin. Uh, it's not something to do with birds, is it? Something or, or colour, blue-headed or something? Some um, pen, tail. Pig, pig, pen, pig, tail, pig, skin, pig. Yeah. You can put pig before all of them. Pig, headed, pig, pen, pig, tail, pig, skin. So overall. Two points for the groups you got, three bonus points for the connection. That is a total of five points. Let's see how that leaves the overall scores at the end of round three. The history boys have got 13 points, but the rugby boys have got 21 points. Still, as students of history, you'll know it's possible for results to be completely overturned in round four, where there are a lot of points available. This is our missing vowels round. I'll be giving the teams phrases or names from which we have removed the vowels and then squidged together the consonants. You can see it happening here with the very well-known phrase, only connect. The teams have to tell me what those names and phrases are. They'll come and connect to groups of four. I will tell you the connections up front. But beware, if you give me an incorrect answer, and I mean one vowel out of place, 
I will deduct a point and throw it to the other team for a bonus. Fingers on buzzers then. The first group, they all have US states in their name. History boys. Tassie Williams. Correct, one point. Rugby. Virginia, Virginia Wolf. Wolf. Yes, one point. Rugby. George O'Keefe. Yes, it is, one point. Too long. The answer's Robert Indiana. Next category, John Steinbeck books. Rugby. Mice and men. One point to you. Rugby. It's the Eden. One point. It's a tough one. In dubious battle. Next clue. Too long. The answer's the red pony. Next category, stock market terminology. Rugby. Bear market. One point. History. Dead cat bounce. Yes, it is. One point. Don't know this one. Basis point. Next clue. Surely we all know this one. Toxic debt. Next category, terms used for heaven. History. Happy hunting ground. Yes, it is. One point. History. Oh, Valhalla. One point. History. Brahms bosom. I can't accept it. Losing a point. Rugby, a bonus. Oh, Brahms bosom. Abraham's bosom, one point to you. Next clue. Rugby. Elysium Fields. One point. Next category, ice skating moves. Rugby. Triple axel. A keen skater, one point. History. Death spiral. Yes, good guess, one point. Rugby. Triple. You lose a point. Do you want a bonus, history? No, Two they aren't. Mm, toe loop. Next clue. No idea. Sit, spin. And the time is up. So, looking at the final scores, the rugby boys are reigning supreme with 28 points. And for the history boys, it's just raining on their parade. They've got 17 points. Very unlucky history boys. Congratulations, rugby boys. We'll be seeing you again in the next round. Please join us next time when I will be asking what links two teams of super brilliant people, some extremely difficult questions and a very glamorous host. And the answer will be only connect. Yes, it will. Goodbye. <laughs>Next tonight on BBC4, there's more to the case than meets the eye, as a baby is found abandoned in a car and a schoolgirl dies of an apparent drugs overdose. Another conundrum for Valanda. Next. <laughs>